Welcome back. Today we are unboxing October, yeah, October's Boxy Charm and Ipsy. And if you are new to my channel, if you wait till the end, I always give a review of the products. The I try them out for five days. I give you um, the pictures of the looks I create over those five days, and I tell you what my experience is. So not only do you see these wonderful, fabulous items, you get to find out how well they work. So I am going to go straight into the BoxyCharm and let's see what we got going on in there. All right, so the first thing we pull out is the pamphlet that shows you the theme. It doesn't really look like much of a theme. And inside it has all the information about the products inside as well as the prices. And it looks like they are changing the pricing, so I'm going to include the new pricing, which is $25 per month. All right, so the very first item we pull out is Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. Okay. Um, I'm supposing since like, um, in, in K-Beauty and glass skin is really big right now, that's probably with where this is from, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I will use it as a moisturizer and see how that one goes. Alright, the next item is Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. Iconic lip plumping glosses are the ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. The high shine formula is infused with biometric peptide, which helps to support natural collagen and production for more defined and volumizing looking lips. Okay, so this doesn't have a lot of color. This is a pretty neutral, which I'm fine with. Um, yeah. Because, you know, that can go with any look. Um, I don't really need a plumper, but it might help because um, my <laughs> lips are losing the fullness that they used to have. So they do bleed a little bit. So maybe, maybe with the plumping that it'll reduce some of that. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. The next thing we got is Jean Bleu Lip Liner Pencil. Master any desired lip color and produce long wearing stain powder with Jean Blue Lip Liner Pencil. The creamy, highly pigmented formula glides on effortlessly and can be worn alone, used for flawless lip contouring or a long lasting base for any lip color. Now, I do think that's a nice lip color. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it. Again, I'm not a huge fan of like these shades of browns for lips because I am just brought right back into the 90s with the poop colored lips everybody wore. But, you know, paired with that color, it might be all right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how it is or if it triggers me to the 90s. We'll see. The next thing we have is Steve Laurent jelly highlighter this high jelly highlighter formula is bouncy lightweight blendable water resistant and so much fun to use watch it glide on with ease using your favorite brush or simply dab it on with your finger for an effortless glow um it does have a nice really pretty shimmer so if you can see it probably not Sorry, the lighting's weird. It's just that kind of day, and I don't really have lights other than the one for the center of the room. Sorry about that. But anyways, that is the color. It is really pretty. And I have to be honest, like, this packaging, to me, is just, it's, it's kind of crappy. Like, this is a $26 highlighter, right? And it's got, like, this plastic here that you would expect from something like Wet n' Wild. So, for me, I'm... <laughs> I'm disappointed in the packaging. So I'm just looking at it going, okay, the product itself has to be worth $26 because that 
pro that that packaging is not worth 26 for sure so but like as far as the color and stuff it's pretty it seems like it's gonna wear well you know I can say that so hopefully the product itself does not disappoint me the last thing in the boxycharm box is dose of colors eyeshadow palette five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades this palette is a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye look now um these are all mattes and see that and it pairs well with with the highlight with the lip liner and the lip color so i like that because it'll make a nice full look um i'm actually really happy with the palette that i got because i know that a lot of people got boring shades of browns and they weren't really excited about it but i do like the shade range in this one i think it's fun and i'm gonna have fun with it so i have to i have to say i'm, I'm I'm happy about this palette. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the Ipsy box. The first thing we pull out of the box is the card with the theme. And of course, inside it shows you the products and the information about the products as well as the pricing. All right, the first thing that comes out of the Ipsy um, box is the Perlice Blue Lotus Brightening Serum. Bring on the Glow, the antioxidant rich lightweight serum uses a powerhouse of nine plant extracts to, to nurture, brighten, hydrate, and repair your skin without irritation or redness. And the hydroquin free formula gently fades discoloration too. Okay, um, I don't know why I put that on my hand, but I did. It is clear. There's nothing more to it doesn't seem to have a smell not even outside of the container don't really have much else to say to it that to it then okay um my weight face is apparently about to get a little bit wider next we pull out the betty boot by ipsy cheek to cheek blush palette um i am a little bit surprised if you can see it right here these are supposed to be um blushes and yeah blushes and these two you can't really see it here they're blushes but they're very shimmery almost a highlighter blush and i think that's really really incredibly pretty and so i am excited about that and already more impressed with this than i thought i would be so we'll see how it wears next we have tarte chrome paint shadow pot in park avenue princess a metallic copper with a mirror like shine and a rich creamy feel your lids have been waiting for a shadow this good. This loose pigment is made with 80% pure pearl minerals and instantly melts into skin with serious lasting power. Plus 100% vegan and cruelty free. Now this shimmer, let's see if I can get it to pick up on camera, not really, kind of right there, um, is pretty amazing. This is a really amazing shimmer. Um, yeah, so because it says it's like, um, I expect a little fallout. I'll be surprised if it's not, if there's not, because it says, um, it's loose pigment, pigment, which means it's packed in here. So it's not like all over the place, but I'm going to leave that in there. Um, the one thing I do have to complain here is like, look at this, the product ends where this. I mean, honestly, this bottom part doesn't even have to exist. They could have just made it with this top part where you screw on and off, but whatever. That, that I just think the packaging is a little much. They could have like reduced some of their waste. But other than that, I do think it's a pretty color. I mean, look at this. I turned it upside down. Do you see how it's just that little circle? I mean, they could have they could have done a better. I I like that it's heavy and it doesn't feel cheap. That I do like, but like when I'm looking at the product and I can hold it like this and I see no product looking through this, none at all. And then when I flip it over and then like, it's just this little bit of product right here. That means this container is made to make it look like you have more product than you really have. And it is also wasteful packaging and that I don't like. 
Next we have a pack of Jewel Smith Beauty Power Gloss Duo in Namaste All Day and Sir Siren Queen from Jewelry to Beauty. Founder Gina Negrilli Smith knows how to shine. This pair of rosy crystal inspired glosses from Jules Smith Beauty give high shine moisture with vitamin A and E and a hint of shimmer. So those are incredibly pretty colors. You can see them right there. Those bottom two right there. This is the darker one and then this is the lighter one. Um, I don't have much to say about it. They feel like glosses. They're pretty. They're shimmery. We'll see how they wear. Next is Trestique All Over Starlight Powder Stick in Violet, Ultraviolet. Designed for life on the go, Trestique creates multi purpose crayons that travel with ease. This twist up power highlighter swipes onto cheeks, eyes, and body for a, an F. Thrill Viol Ultraviolet Glow. Okay. Um, it's pretty. It, you could see kind of, yeah, you can kind of see it definitely has that purple, very light violet purple shimmer to it. It's pretty. And then like, if you can see it, it has like little stars on it. And I think that's really cute. So I am happy about this highlighter. Um, but again, this will be another one of those things. We'll just have to wait, see, and see how it wears. Okay, so very last thing in it is a makeup bag. And apparently when Ipsy first started doing this plus size product box that they always had the um, bags and then they stopped doing it for a while and people really liked the bag, so they started bringing it back. And it's a cute bag. I do like it, but I don't really use bags. I usually end up giving these away to people who use them. But it is a cute bag. Um, so yeah, now I will go try everything for five days and come back with my opinion. All right, so this is day five of my wear of the um, Ipsy and BoxyCharm for the month of October and so far, everything's good um but let's go ahead and talk about the products the first products we're going to get into is the boxy charm and um again this was the highlighter by steve laurent i am still very disappointed about the packaging but the highlighter is beautiful this is a very natural highlighter so if you're looking for blinding not for you but if you want a nice natural highlight it's a really pretty one i really do enjoy it it's pretty um the Dose of Colors palette. I got the one interesting one that they had and I have it on today. You can see I put some shimmer over it because I wanted shimmer today. That's what the palette was, the colors that I had to go off of. And I do like that as well. Um, there wasn't a lot of fallout. And I know a lot of people had like palettes where it was brown tones and stuff and they weren't excited about it. The quality though is like worth keeping even if I did just get brown tones because I would still use it. But um, yeah, still really happy about that. Um, the lip liner here. It's lip liner. It, you know, I was, of course, I'm always concerned when they're brown like that because I think of the 90s poop colored lips. Um, but it actually looks very natural on. I have it on today. Really do like it. And then there is the iconic London um, gloss here, which is also a plump, plump, plumper. There we go. And I do like that as well. It did, um, I don't really need fuller lips, but like I'm at an age where I'm starting to lose collagen in my lips. So I found that like lip plumping um, products actually help keep my lips from bleeding. So, you know, if, if that's an issue for you, just think about that. It, it, it has its purpose. And then I have the Touch of Soul Glossy well, I guess it's a moisturizer. I used it as a moisturizer because that's the way, you know, it, it described how to use it. It actually says it's a balm, but I really did like it. It really did keep my face moist. So, 
even though I'm disappointed with this one, I'm still happy with it. So out of the five products here, Box of Charm was a five out of five for me this month. So moving on to Ipsy. So Ipsy had released this Betty Boop collection that they have on their site right now, and they had put this palette of blush in there for me. I have been using it. Can't really tell, but I've been using it, and I really do like the colors. I think they look great on my skin tone, so I'm happy with that. And then there was this duo of Jules Smith Beauty Lip Gloss here. I have this one on today. Um, and I really like both of them. You can't really see it on camera, but there's a slight shimmer to them. And they both look and wear really well, and I'm happy with those two. And then there was this Tarte, was it Tarte? Chrome Paint Shadow, and I don't have this on today, but I've been wearing that last four days. You can see it right there, kind of dug into it. It is very, very nice. I really do enjoy it. My, again, my only complaint is their packaging, because like, look, I mean, it, it just, it really gets on my nerves, because you have this huge pod, you can't even see the product down here, turn it here the majority of the product is right dab in the center so they clearly did that to make it look like you're getting more product than you actually are so I don't really like that because I you know it's clearly a sales tactic but the product itself is really nice and I really do enjoy that um, and then there was the highlight here and this is more of a blinding highlight. So if you're looking for more of a blinding highlight, this is definitely it. This is ultraviolet. It's really, really pretty. And it looked like that. And then there was the Perlice Brightening Serum. Now, if you remember, I was kind of like, okay, great. You're going to make my white face whiter. That's wonderful. Um, but you know what? It does even out your skin tones. So I don't feel like it made my face any whiter because I'm already pretty white. But it did even out my skin tone and I really did like that. So I'm happy with that. So this was technically one, two, three, four, and five. So out of the Ipsy box, it was another five out of five. So this was a solid month for me as far as Ipsy and BoxyCharm and very happy with everything I got and I am looking forward to next month. So if you liked my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.